Hi, welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. If you're like me, you're constantly uh, walking around society looking for inspiration on what to draw in Fusion 360. And occasionally you'll come across different uh, mechanical devices, apparatuses, and you'll think to yourself, wow, I wonder how I'd draw that in Fusion 360. So for inspiration this week, I flicked through my newsfeed on Instagram and up popped photo from Matt from Crank Engineering and he had made a modified a motorcycle frame and made it into a hardtail cafe racer. Now some of these frames are quite challenging to, uh, to design in Fusion 360 or any other CAD for that matter and this is where the profile suite command will come in to play. If you have a look at my helicopter here you can see the fuselage is made from uh, 8mm Bundy tube and it's been brazed together. But how could we draw that in Fusion 360? Well, there's only one real way to do it in CAD or in parametric CAD, and that is to use the profile sweep feature. So in today's Fusion Fortnite video, we're gonna be looking at the sweep profile feature within Fusion 360, and I'm gonna provide you with two examples. One will be a paper clip, so we'll draw a paper clip, and it's quite easy. And like I said, some of the most easiest ways to learn Fusion is to actually pick stuff that you know is achievable, and then move on to the harder stuff later. And then we'll actually do some uh, my vice and we'll look at the uh, annealed vice draw and how we're gonna draw that. So let's take a look at how we're going to draw this paper clip today. First thing we wanna do is open Fusion 360 and we need to check a few things before we get started. Click on your name, the drop down, click preferences and just ensure that you're in Z up. If you're not in Z up, just change it, select it and come back to it. Ensure that your default unit set up here today is in millimeters. Okay, let's get started. We need to click on create a sketch. We want to select the ground plane, which is the plane that the green and red axes lays on. Select our ground plane. We want to select a straight line. Remember, drop down in your sketch and we can see the shortcut for line is L. So L for line. We want to snap it to the center and we're going to zoom in a little bit here and we're going to go up to a total measurement of 20 millimeters. Type in 20, tab, enter. L for line, we're gonna come off to the side now. We wanna come over 7.5. 7.5, tab, enter. L for line, let's continue the sketch down now. Ensure that the sketch line is remaining at 90 degrees. This line will be 30, tab, enter. Now, let's click on that dimension and drag him over to the side so we can see the rest of our sketch. We can fix a couple of these up so it's not um, crowding our work environment. Alpha line, we're going to click down the bottom here, we're going to come in, we're going to go 6.5, 6.5, tab enter, bring that dimension up, alpha line again, vertically now, and this dimension here will be 22, tab enter, alpha line, we want to come to the right hand side now, 5.5, tab enter, alpha line, and down now we want to snap it to the red plane. Snap it, and we should have our dimensions finished. What we're going to do now, escape from that. I'm going to bring these dimensions down so we can see a little bit better. And up we come. We're going to put our fillets on now. So we want to click on the sketch drop down box. Click fillet, and we want to select this one here and this one here. Now our fillet diameter will be 7.5 divided by 2, enter. Now we come straight down to the next line which is 5.5, once again drop down and sketch, fillet, we want that one and that one, we're going to type in 5.5, line 2, enter. Coming down to our bottom two now, we'll place the fillets on there, 1, 2, in our dialog box we need to type in 6.5, line 2, enter. Now if we double check over this, I know it looks a little bit cluttered here, but we'll just have a good look at it, make sure our dimensions are right. Okay, we need to stop sketch now. We want to put it back into the home view and we need to create a sketch and we want to click this front window here. Zoom in here and on our, our dot where it was snapped to the center, we want C for circle. Remember that shortcut for circle? Is C for center, for center diameter. So C, snap it there and drag out. Before you terminate, remember, type in the dimension 1.0, tab enter. 
We can grab on that dimension, we can click it to it highlights and drag it out now. Stop sketch and return back to the home view. So here you can see the shape of our paper clip. We've got the, prof we've got the profile and we've got the path that it's going to go on. So let's create that sweep now. We're going to create sweep. Here comes our dialog box. Now Fusion 360 is very intuitive. It's sort of start at the top and work your way through. We want single path, the profile we want, it's asking us to select it, which is that one. The path that it wants to take, we click that box, select the path, and we've got the everything else is right, click OK. Now let's have a look at that in the top view, and you see we have our paper clip. We'll return back to our home view now, and uh, you can see your paper clip is formed. Don't forget to save it, so once again, we're going to click save. Now check your location where it's going. You notice here mine's coming up into Fusion Fortnite, and that's where I want it. We're going to type in paperclip, sweep, and don't forget to save. And let's uh, make sure that's going up to the cloud. Fusion Fortnite, here it is now populating, and we're ready to go. Okay, get ready for exercise two, and I'll be back with you very shortly. Okay, so let's have a crack at this. Let's open up a new sketch. What we want to do is create a sketch, and we're going to select the ground plane once again. R for rectangle shortcut key, and we want to pick up a centre rectangle on the top right-hand side. Snap to the very centre and drag out. Our first uh, left-hand dimension, our height dimension is 20, so 20 tab, bottom is 125, tab, enter. E for extrusion, we're going to extrude that shape now, we want to type in 10, and we're going up in the positive direction. We want to put a couple of counter balls on the top face now, so we're going to select that top face, we're going to view onto it, and we're going to pick up two points. And this is pretty much similar to what we covered in exercise one. We want to snap two points from the centre, roughly there. We're going to dimension those points, so the shortcut key is D for dimension. Click the outside edge, click the point, drag up. This is going to be 30, tab enter. D for dimension. We're using that left hand edge as a datum point. We're coming over, touching the next one, moving up. That should be 90, tab enter. What we want to do now is go to our create and we want to pick hole. We're going to put pick counter ball. We're going to make sure the top selection like over here for multiple holes is, is selected. And we're going to come down, we're going to pick that one and that one. In your counter ball, ensure the depth is 10 millimetres, uh, diameter is 6. Uh, that's the drill tip angle, so 118. Um, counter, countersunk diameter is 12 mil, and we're going to accept that. Enter. Okay, so here we go. We now have our vice jaws. We've got our two countersunk. We need to put on this triangular pattern now to get our first knurl section going. And this is how we're going to do that. So we're going to select this front face, and we're going to view onto that face. We're going to zoom right in, and we're going to use the shortcut key with L for a straight line. And over on this one side, we're going to draw a, a pretty much a, a basic triangle. So going up, out, and back. What we're going to do is put some dimensions on that. The height here is going to be 4. And this angle here, so D for dimension, from here to here, is going to be 45. Tab Enter. Now, this line here, I'm just going to make that escape. This line... So this line here, I'm going to select that and just going to toggle construct it at the moment, make it a construction line. I'm going to mirror this half and bring it to the other side. So sketch all the way down to the bottom, we're going to mirror. Up comes our dialog box. What objects do we want to mirror? We want that one and that one, which is our mirror line. So we click the next blue button and that's our mirror line and OK. So now we need to dimension this in relation to where our knurls are going to go. So, shortcut key, D for dimension. We're going to pick up this top edge line and that line there. And we're going to snap it there. And we're just going to call up at the moment 5 millimetres. Okay, so now we're going to mention the tip from here to that corner there. And this dimension here is going to be 25 millimetres. Okay, now I did that off the job, so it allows me an area to select later on, and I'll explain to you how I'm going to do this. So, we're now going to do a rectangular pattern. So we pick rectangular pattern, and what objects do we want? See the top blue button is selected. We're just going to drag a marquee over them. We're going to select 
direction next, grab that blue arrow and start pulling it across. Now another little dialog box appears and it says how many do you want? We want 22, okay, at 175. And we're going to click OK. And now when I zoom in, you can see I've got a little edge there, so that's looking good. OK, so stop sketch, go back to our home view. You can see how that pattern there goes right past it. And we're pretty three on the left-hand side, and we're three on the right-hand side. We're pretty much spot on the money there. OK, so here we go. We're going to draw another, we need another sketch. So we click on here, and we're going to select the top face. OK, we're going to put L for line, and from that tip of that, that's the bottom side centre of the triangle, you're going to click there and drag a line out. Now, you want the line to be 40 millimetres long on an angle of 135. So that's a, that's a major angle, and tab enter, and stop sketch. So this will allow us to perform our sweep. Here we go, create and we're going to do a sweep. It, single path, it wants to select your profile, so from the front view, I can quite easily now select all of these by dragging a marquee. And if I show you here, I'm going to drag this marquee, try not to touch the top of the block, and I've selected my 22 patterns. The path, I'm going to pick up here, and this time I'm going to OK it. All right, now the reason I did that is so it makes it easier for me to select. All I have to do now is go back into here and do two little edits, and this is a good little habit to get into too. Otherwise, you don't know how to edit things. So you come down to your timeline. My, pat my actual profile was there. I'm going to edit that. So right-click and go Edit Sketch. I'm going to double-click here on my dimension. Double click, I'm going to type in 2 and that will drop it below that's that top line. Stop sketch. Now you can, see it's, you can see it's still adding a body, but that's okay. Right click on the sweep and let's edit that now. Edit feature. And we're going to change it from new body to cut. Did you see how I did that? That bottom drop down to cut. Click OK and there we have the knurled feature there. So what we're going to do now is create a mirrored pattern of this face on the opposite side. So we go create, mirror. On our mirror, we want to select the third option, which is Pattern Features. When it says Objects here, you come down to the timeline and pick the first sweep that you did. On the mirror plane now, you click Select, and you're going to pick that centre plane. You can see here, now if I'm out too far, I can't get it. I zoom back in, and you'll see that plane come into play, or come into view. Click that, and we're going to go OK. We want Adjusted. OK. And let's put that in a home view, and we can see our nice little knurled pattern now. Now, if you play around with the different types of triangles and the different types of uh, angles for the sweep, you can get different knurled patterns. OK? Don't forget to save your job, so click Save. Make sure you're putting it back into the cloud where you want it to go. Here it is here. And we're going to call this one Vice Jaw Sweep Knurl. Well, there we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on the Profile Suite command tonight on uh, Fusion Fortnites. And Mossy and I look forward to you tuning back in uh, next week or next fortnight for Fusion 360. Good on you. Catch you next time. Cheers. Say bye, Mossy. <laughs>